It's time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. It's about time you classed it up for this I know. segment. I you mean, know, I, I, we were uh, waiting and waiting. You, I was thinking, I, if Larry does want to go home, I could I could do it. I can read you a sure prompter. Could. Yeah, it's yeah. not that hard. Do you have an interview after this or something? I or? do, actually. Okay. I'm, uh, I do. <laughs> All right. I'm hosting a, a, a virtual event for Misericordia oh, coming nice. up. So we're taping that gotcha. uh, coming up a little bit later on this morning. All right, but let's get to these <clears> paint cans because I'm dying. I can't uh, wait. Well, I'm telling you, do, have you ever painted? No. Really? No. Okay, it is the single most affordable investment to improve the look of your right home. Here, I'm gonna tell people, I did start at one time, and you, you the taping, you and then you no, start edging, and you're exhausted you no, after about you two no hours, patience. and then you wanna stop. But in your selfie world, it'd be a great place to take a selfie. <laughs> look at me, I'm painting, <laughs> look at me, I'm painting. <laughs> and okay, then you stop. here's the biggest thing yeah. I want you to know. Do not skimp out on paint, okay. like the cost and what you're spending. One of the things you're gonna find if you haven't purchased paint in a long time, this is the top of the line paint from Benjamin Moore. It's $70 a gallon. Worth it? A hundred percent. Because if you well, no, it's not gold, but it will give you a back rub when you're done. But when you're done painting, you're gonna see the richness of the color. If you're doing this yourself, the average room, let's say you're gonna do your dining room, you may make two or three gallons of it all. So if you're doing it yourself, we're talking about an investment of two or $300 for a dramatic change. Okay. This, one of the hottest trends right now, is painting kitchen cabinets. Oh yeah. This is a paint you don't even know about. It's called Clark and Ken Kensington Cabinet Door and Trim. It is a self-leveling paint that when you apply it, you do a little bit of sanding on the cabinets first. When you first put it on, it will look streaky and you'll be like, Lou, what are you doing telling me to use this paint? It's self-leveling. Two coats of this on your cabinets, it'll look like you had them professionally sprayed wow. and you brushed it on. Got oh, it. Oh, look at these paint cans. Uh -huh. Okay, next, uh, same with the Benjamin Moore. If you're doing a bathroom, one of the biggest issues with bathrooms is uh, mildew mold and, yes. uh, you know, the shower, you've got teenagers, the shower too long. This bath and spa by them is an absolute must from Benjamin Moore because it has mildicides built in you get that same richness of color that you normally get from them and it's great problem areas if you have issues with problems in the bathroom where you've tried and tried and tried this perma white product from Zinser is a mildew and mold proof interior paint so people that have a shower and you're in there going oh, I see this mold yeah, and I yeah, clean yeah. it clean it first yeah lightly sand it paint it with this it won't come back what do you know okay finally a couple specialty items which I really like these two together right here this is a magnetic paint that you can paint onto a wall if you got little kids and then you can put magnets on the wall. Ooh. It's a white or a clear coat that can cool. go over the top of it. This is a, a dry erase board. So if you wanted to paint an entire wall in a kid's room, I did this years ago with our daughter Mallory's room, and the entire wall was dry erase, and we had all these markers there, and they would do all these designs and wipe it right on the walls, just like a giant erase board. But you gotta tell them, that's the wall, not that <laughs> that's one over exactly there. Because right. I'm like, what are you doing? And then finally, when you're choosing uh, stuff to uh, yeah. use, don't choose the cheap stuff. If you buy a roller and you put your fingers back here and you cannot squeeze it, see how it stays nice and firm? That's a good roller. If you take a brush like this and you pull it like this and you see how it does that? Yeah. That's a bad brush. Bad brush. This is a good brush. Good stuff, Lou. You can check out Lou House Smarts on Saturday afternoons at WGN at 3.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, his Saturday morning radio show, of course, 6 to 10 a.m. on WGN. Thanks, Lou. Have Thank a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Polly.